Welcome back to and this guide in today's video we are going to show you how to fix cannot connect to server error on Outlook. Let's begin. Now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time on Outlook, click the create one option. And from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Experiencing the cannot connect to server error in Outlook can be frustrating and disruptive to your work or personal communications. And of course, we are here to help you with that because fixing the cannot connect to server error in Outlook typically involves several trouble troubleshooting steps to identify and resolve the underlying issue. All right. Number one is make sure you have the uh, a stable and active internet connection all right now you might want to try opening a speed test website in your browser to verify that you have a stable and actor active internet connection all right now from here you can also check the server status for example your outlook.com office 365 exchange server is experiencing any outages or downtime because from here you can check on the status on the provider's website or through their support channels now the next option that you can explore is to check the email account settings which is very useful when you are using the outlook application on your computer for example earlier i was using the outlook web now from here all you're gonna do uh, make sure that you have you don't have the incorrect account settings because it can prevent outlook from connecting to the server and from here verify the incoming or the imap or pop and outgoing smtp server settings with your email provider's documentation make sure your username and password are also collect and from here you can manually configure the settings or additional server types and from here make sure if you don't know how to do this if you're working for a company or for a client you might want to ask the uh, it support from your respective um, company or clients to see that they can look into this um error and fix it all right if you don't have the technical expertise and capabilities you might want to check some other um, documentations available on microsoft outlook to see if you can do it yourself and again remember that the uh, imap and pop settings are very important in terms of your email provider's documentation now while at it you might want to check if your firewall is not the one causing all these problems all right because sometimes it really happens your firewall settings might be blocking the outlook's access to the internet or to the mail server i heavily suggest that you temporarily disable the firewall and check if outlook can connect after that if disabling solves the problem just adjust your firewall settings to outlook and add an exception all right alternatively you can also do that uh, thing when you are using an antivirus and again like your firewall settings your antivirus software might be blocking the outlook's access to the internet or to the mail server and again when you temporarily disable the firewall or the antivirus software you need to check if Outlook can connect, if disabling solves the problem, and again, just adjust your antivirus settings to allow Outlook through, all right? Now, the next option that you can do from here is you might want to try running the Outlook in safe mode, all right? Because I'm running Outlook in safe mode, disable add-ins, which can sometimes interfere with the connectivity. To start Outlook in safe mode, hold down the control key, double click of the outlook shortcut and from here all you have to do is make sure that you run the outlook in safe mode you might want to check the uh, dns setting as well because incorrect dns settings can sometimes prevent outlook from resolving the mail server's address ensure your computer's dns settings are configured correctly or set them to automatically obtain dns server address okay now if that doesn't help all right the next option that you can do from here is you might want to check for any third-party software conflicts or if you're using google chrome you might want to check for the plugins 
installed on your computer that can interfere with the outlook's operation and i heavily suggest you temporarily disable to see if it resolves the issue for example you have used authenticator in the past few days but before that outlook was looking great and now working properly you might want to try to remove that for now and to see if it's that's not the reason why causing the outlook error cannot solve the problem all right now apart from that the next option that you can explore is you might want to create a new Outlook profile because sometimes Outlook profiles can, of course, become corrupted, leading to a connection problems. Now, for example, if you click uh, create a new Outlook profile and add your email account to it, instructions for creating new profile vary depending on your Outlook version or the type of Outlook apps that you're using for example if you're using the outlook app on your computer or the outlook web or even when you're using the outlook on your mobile now in terms of the outlook mobile if you are using an android i need you to go to the app management or to your app list and search for outlook and from here i heavily suggest that you are connected to the stable and active internet and by doing so just hover to the mobile data and wi-fi make sure you have the proper settings all right and then after that i heavily suggest for you to go to the storage and cache delete the storage and clear cache because that would potentially resolve the issue of bugs and glitches if you delete the clear data or user data what will happen is you will be logged out of your account but don't worry because all you have to do is go to google play store and make sure you are using the latest version of outlook because updates including bug fixes and improvements can help resolve connectivity issues all you're gonna do is go to play store again type in bike look to see if you have any pending updates alternatively if none of the above steps work i suggest you you need to contact their support team for assistance providing details of the error message and the troubleshooting steps you have already taken and i believe by following these steps automatically you should be able to diagnose and resolve the cannot connect server error in outlook but before making any significant changes or deletions ensure you have a backups of any crucial emails or data stored locally in outlook because as we all know technical issues can be stressful especially when they affect important tools like outlook resolving the error alleviates frustrations and allows you to focus on your tasks without disruptions thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video